Hi, my name's Nick Heaton. I'm a distinguished engineer in the Cadence Systems and Verification Group, working particularly with ARM solutions. Um, today I want to talk about um, a new protocol that's been uh, announced and is uh, been worked on by Cadence and a number of partners. Um, it's called C6. Um, a ca it's a cache coherent chip to chip protocol. Um, and what I want to try and do is just give you a, a, a bit more of an understanding of why it's been developed and what it's, what it's there to do, uh, but also to give you a sense of some of the challenges that are facing engineers integrating these kind of systems. So I've drawn here a, a, a simple block diagram of a, of a typical ARM server. We've got some clusters of processors with L3 cache, L2 cache inside them, an interconnect with a last level cache, and some memory. And the C6 interface provides a connection from a cluster of this type to other devices. As its name describes, chip-to-chip -chip protocol, there's an interface that goes out to other devices, such as accelerator SOCs, or other ARM server SOCs. Um, so let's look a little bit at what that really means when we say cache coherent. What, what we're saying with these devices is that they all share memory and that their memory is visible from each other. In other words, um, from my accelerator SOC, I may have some memory here but um, it may be that I want some memory from this cluster. I want to share memory. It may be that we can end up with a request going all the way over to this memory. Um, but because there is cache in this system, that request may also find the data in the last level cache or in the L3. And that will give us the data back quicker. Um, and in the same way, this device can share data with another server. So the memory in this device could also be read from this processor. Again, we can go all the way out, and it may be access the cache in there. Now, this creates significant complexity, and it also creates a big variation in the latency of transactions. Obviously, reading data from a cache that's local so let's say a processor reads data here, is an enormously faster activity than going all the way to a companion chip. And one of the challenges with these kind of devices is understanding the performance impact of where you locate data. If you locate a lot of data here for an application running over here, then that's going to cause you performance problems. It's going to be slow. If you keep the data local, then it makes it fast. Um, but also, it, it's about architecting accelerators. So we might offload an activity specifically into an accelerator, and it becomes very fast, because all the data is kept local here, and then it gives the result back. So I hope you found that interesting. And tune in next week for another topic. Thank you for listening.